Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to use your phone to remote into your computer. Basically in the demo, I am going to show you using an iPhone into a Mac and how to set up that. But this process, you could use an Android phone um, and it doesn't have to be a Mac that we're remoting into. We can remote into a Windows device with this app. We can remote into a Linux device or a Mac like I'm going to show. So let's get this set up and, and, and see how this works. It's pretty dang awesome. All right, for the example, I've connected my iPhone so you can see my iPhone side by side with this computer and see how I'm able to control the computer. I'm going to go and let's head to the App Store. You're going to want to download VNC Viewer Remote Desktop. If you scroll down, You'll be able to notice that uh, it is for Mac, Windows, Linux computers, and I verified that this is also available in the um, Google Play Store for Android devices. So go download it. Once you download it, we're going to click open. And I've already set up a computer in here, and it's this computer. How I did that on the Mac, you do have to enable remote management. So I'm going to open up system preferences on the Mac, sharing pane, remote management. What you're going to notice if I click on computer settings is I'm not actually setting this to VNC. I'm not doing the whole communication with VNC. Uh, Two things to note about security around this. Um, because you're connecting from the iPhone to the Mac, it, its initial username and password is sent encrypted with the screen sharing protocol. But beyond that, the VNC protocol, it's not an encrypted stream. So if somebody knew how to, you know, gather that data and view the screen, they would be able to if they're on your network. Um, I'm not really that worried about that. Uh, I don't foresee somebody being able to gather that data for me. Not on my internal network, and I wouldn't do this out and about. So uh, basically, I'm going to hit cancel here, and on this, I would have checked remote management. I would said I need to make sure I know that a user that I'm going to allow to be able to remote into this Mac and I'm going to click options and I just selected them all. I want to be able to allow that remote session uh, all access basically to do anything they want. I click OK. I close out of this. You hit the plus. Oops, sorry. You hit the plus and you're going to enter in the IP address of the computer. Um, on this computer, IP address, click on network. So I'd just do 192.168.1.14, name it home or whatever, click save. As soon as I hit connect, it's going to attempt to connect and it's going to tell me that it is an unencrypted connection. I'm going to still say continue. And then it's going to ask me for a username and password. I could enter that in, but I already have this connection set up, so I'm just going to hit cancel. And I'm going to head back to my my address book, and I've got Mac Lady here right now. I'm going to click on her, and I'm going to click continue. And I'm going to be able to connect to this Mac. As you can see, I've got I can pinch zoom the whole nine. If I click down here, this little thing will pop out. I can pull up a keyboard if I need to. I can act as a mouse, you know, and move it around and do whatever I need to. Click. Um, I can open this up and, and see the information about the app. Um, 
and then this is the part the question mark this is what's going to tell you all the different features that you can use within this remote session I can do all these things on that computer it literally makes it amazing so watch this I mean I can click zoom uh, let me just move over here close the window out move stuff around open up the hard drive See guys I hope you love that video man because seriously I love remoting in the devices from my phone it's so convenient and the fact that you can do it from Android phones iPhones iPad to a Mac a Windows a Linux desktop you can control all of them from your phone man it's just awesome Hey, if you know of any other apps or things that you've used or just your experience, let me know down in the comments. I'm really curious as to what you guys think about this. Um, it, you know, honestly, it's just awesome. All right, guys, get subscribed if you haven't already. Smash the like button if you like that video. And I can't wait to share the next video with you guys. Take care and have an awesome week.